So all your pages, website, funnels, whatever it is, they're all connected with your own engage section. In that section, you have a CRM, place where you can track and work with all the contacts and memberships that you have in your pages. Also, you see all the messages and different settings such as custom properties, tags, etc. So let's deep, dig deep into the engage section. All right. So let's say that we our website or our funnel has a form for lead generation, such as in this case, this is a form about contact, which contains name, email, phone and a message. So whenever somebody, so the idea obviously is that whenever somebody fills in the form, uh, first of all, you can get an email notification about, you know, this form being filled in. So you can just type in your email here and you'll receive a notification. If you want to type in a few emails, just use comma between them. So when somebody fills in this form, this information will also go into your own CRM. And also if you have an integration with an autoresponder for email marketing, that will also go there as well. But let's look into how it goes into the engage. So this is the, the page and let's just preview the page with the eye icon. Now we see our, you know, our form. So we can add some name to it, such as name, uh, email, at domain.com just for the sake of the example some kind of a uh, phone number and a message and we can just submit the form just like that it sent a notification if you added uh, an email for for that form but it also sent this information to our CRM so if you click on the engage section you see that it created a brand new contact so if you click on that contact, you see a full profile about it, such as the forms that they submitted, orders if this person actually submitted any orders. So it will create also a contact if you have a store, some kind of a checkout to collect payments. But you can see the form here with the message and the information that has been filled in. Also on the site, you can see all the information about that user. You can add notes, you can add uh, and different information about that. These are the default uh, properties that you currently have for every every customer. You can also tag that customer with a specific tag. Let's say a new user. Let's add a new, uh, actually, first we have to create a new tag. So let's say uh, new user. So you can just tag that user as a new user. Just like that, we created a new, contact, a new tag. And here we can now tag it as a new user. This way you can tag and uh, arrange different uh, properties for that contact itself. You can change the name, you can change all the information. In, the, in this section you can obviously see all the contacts that you have generated. You can add different filters such as let's say filter all the people who are part of the new user, which is this person. And you can create different tags like this and you can also have um, you can save this as a segment. So let's say we want to have a whole segment shown here that are by all the new users. So just add a new user as a name or whatever you wish to call this segment and just submit it. Now we have created this new segment and it's easy and quick way to filter by that. So it's you don't have to filter every time. Uh, you can tag and collect and mark all these different users the way you want, delete them, export them, add a new contact manually or even adjust the columns and what kind of information you see about the users such as lead status for example, um, website if they have. So these are things that you can see for, for the different users. You can also get into the membership settings. This is where you control all the memberships but we'll have a separate video about how you manage memberships about your websites with secured content and different things like that. Then you have the messages. In the messages section, you can see all the messages that are being filled in and submitted by visitors on your website or phone or page, whatever it is. So in this case, we have only one. So we have this information where if you click on the user profile, obviously you go to the profile of that user. You can also filter by the different forms. Our form name is currently form. So we see all the forms being, all the messages being submitted by that form. Uh, you can also, of course, in export all the messages from from that form as well so this is very easy and neat way 
to always keep track of your messages and form submits in that for that matter and in the settings in the settings like you saw we created a tag this way you can adjust and create new tags uh, but you can also create new properties and this is very powerful because here first of all these are the system building properties that you have uh, which are you know basic things for for every you know for every um, user in general or every contact but you can also create your own properties such as let's say that we want to have um, age for for some reason we want to have the age of the users and uh, we can have it as a number and we can have it available for the forms meaning that we can also show this this form and um, this field inside the forms and let's create it like this so we created the age property now every user in their profile will have the age at the bottom so you can type in the age of the person if that's obviously important for us you can obviously create whatever you wish and if we go to the builder now and if we go to our form again and we go to edit our fields there you see obviously the fields that we have and we can add a new one and from here you can actually see that we now have the age field custom property so you can now just click on it and now we'll start collecting age about the people uh, so now if you save and preview the form you see that when we submit some information um, whatever it is uh, let's say name two just for sake of the example some uh, message and we can type in a uh, age now so we can collect the age submit and this information again will be sent into our crm and if you click on engage again you see that we created a second contact and we have the age property now be being filled in for that user and it, if it is important for us to know the age of the customer you can also have it here available so you can see the age at any time so this is how simple it is to work with the crm to create different filters as you can see just new user is the one that we tagged but this one we can also tag as well uh, as a new user and we'll see that we have two users now here so this is some some small things that you can do but it's really easy to uh, keep track of your customers uh, see different information about them and easily contact them afterwards um, same goes for the messages really easy and you can see all the information here and you can create your custom properties and tags if you want to collect this extra data of course you can if you don't want to send it to the crm you can just have it uh, as a normal as a normal uh, field here when you create your new uh, your form you can just add a normal text field or a normal um, whatever type of field you want to have but with the custom properties it just automatically sends it to the crm and you can easily see it here so this is the CRM, the engage host section uh, with the messages, etc. There will be a lot more things to be added very soon, but these are some of the basics and how simple it is to work with it and manage all your contacts. It's free of, uh, free of charge, so you can use it for your forms, funnels, websites, and easily manage all your contacts.